everyone welcome to my channel today I'm gonna to show you how to do a double stacked column charts in both Excel and Power BI so I have the content timestamp below so if you want you feel free to jump into the section that you need I also have the file ready for download for free so the link is provided in the description now let's get started So first, let's look into the business scenario that this chart will apply to. So here I have two job families where I want to show the paid data. One is IT services and one is data analytics. For each of them, I have three job levels, the analyst, the senior analyst, and the manager. And also within each paid data, I have three components. One is base pay, uh, one is short-term incentive bonus, and one is long-term incentive, which can be equity. So in this scenario, actually the double stacked column chart is perfect because it not only shows the job groups side by side, but it also shows the components of the pay. So now let's get started. Now let's jump into the charts. First, I will show you how to do it in Excel. The version that I use for this file is Microsoft 365. It's the online subscription version. If your computer uses an earlier version of the Office, there might be places slightly different from this version. Uh, and first, we just need to reorganize the original data to make it ready for the chart. The reason for that is if we just use the original data set and we just produce the Excel version of stacked chart, stack column charts, which is this one, um, what you will get is something like this. What I like about it is that it does group the labeling so that you can see IT service um, and data analytics are under the analyst groups. However, it doesn't show in the charts. All the columns have the same gap and I don't like it. I want the those two columns to be grouped closer so that I can know visually that they're grouped together. In order to do that, I have to work around to it. So that's why I reorganize the data a little bit by adding a blank row between my job levels. And also I made sure that I added a dot in this cell. And I'll show you why I did that in a moment. And after doing those two rows, then I can now try to create basically the chart below. So you go to insert and then you go to stacked column chart. And this is how the chart will look to start with. And then from here, you can change the title here. And uh, you can also change the color of the column. You can remove the grid line if you don't like it, like me. Um, and um, what's most important here, it is to change the, uh, the gap width. To do that, you select one of the data sets and then you right click go to format data series and then you go to gap width. So here you adjust it to be lower and you can see that your column will be fatter and the gap between your two columns will be narrower. So you can make that to be whatever width that you want. And then of course you can select uh, the data and then change the color to something else. And I usually prefer this gradual color, but you can do it whichever way you want. You can also add data label to it if you want to. Um, and lastly, I want to talk about the dot. So you can see um, the dot is showing here from the cell. If I remove it, then what happens is that it can't remove that divider for the analyst. And then the analyst now has three columns and that's not what I want. I want the analyst only bonded with those two columns. So that's why, unfortunately, we have to put the dots back and it shows here like this. If this still bothers you, a workaround to it is that you can simply insert a small shape, let's say a circle, and then you just change the fill to white and you change your outline to white and voila, you cannot see it anymore. Now let's see how to make the same chart in Power BI. The version I use this file in Power BI is updated in May 2023. It is a free version that you can download from the link in the description below. The way you can check your version is go to about and you will see your version here. So let's start from our original data set, which is in Excel. So if your data set is actually a small table, what you can do is first reformat it so that it is organized in the way that is required for the Power BI chart. So here is how we have organized the data. If your table is small, what you can do is simply just copy it, go back to 
Power BI, let's say it's a blank page, you can go to home and enter data and you will see this create table, click on column one and simply copy and paste. And of course you can name your table, whatever you want and just load it. Okay, now we have the data table loaded here. It's showing in here. You can also go to the data view to see how your data is looking like. And now let's import the visual type. So the double stack column chart type is not readily available in the visualization, but luckily uh, we can download it for free. So in order to do that, click on the three dots and get more visual that will bring up to this part and it has some free and also paid charts in here for your use. The one that we are looking for is called cluster stacked chart. So it's this one and click into it. This is the page that you will see. So they do have some paid version that you can use in the future, but the one that we need to do, we don't need to pay for it. You can also download a sample file, which will show you in more detail with sample data of how to create different type of charts. For our chart, we can simply click on add. And because I already have it here, I just need to um, confirm if I need to update or cancel it. But after you have added it, then you will see a small logo here. It's already in installed in your Power BI. What you can now do is to click on it. It will show you something here. And then also um, the fields are here open for you to input. Now remember we have the data imported. The one that we imported is actually here, the data table. What you need to do is just make sure that you put the right data into the right field. So for X axis, remember we want it to be the job level. So what you can do is click into the chart and then drag your drop uh, level into your axis. And then for Y, we have two. We have one is the IT service and one is the data analytics. So I decide that I will want to make my first column to be IT service. That's why I have it here because I also want to show my label. So I'm going to also drag it down to the label one. So that's my first column. And my second column, I want it to be the data analytics. So you do the same thing. You drag them in there. Now you have the data shown as here. Then we're also missing, we're still missing the stacked portion. So for that, you need to drag the comp item or comp component into the ledger. And this is how the chart will show initially. And now of course we need to reformat it. So to do the reformatting first, I don't like the title. It seems to be too wordy. I can go to format and then go to general. For my title, I can either change it to whatever text that I want, or I can simply just choose to not show it and then it will disappear. And second, in my chart, I don't like that it's showing the sum of IT. So what I need to do is come back to my Y axis and click on the down arrow and the rename. And then what I only need is just the name of the job family. So you need to do that for the two columns. And then now the legend looks fine to me. If and also I noticed by default, my job level is showing descendantly and I actually want it to be ascendant. So for that, you click on the three dots and then you go sort ascending and then it will show from the lower one to the higher one. And of course you can also change the data label by going into the format and going into the data column chart. Okay. So now let's change the color to make sure that it is showing consistently for base pay, short-term incentive and long-term incentive. To do that, it's a little bit less user-friendly than Excel because you actually have to do it manually. So to do that, go to the top left, apply conditional colors, click on it. It will ask you to basically customize all the colors you want. So I have two series. One is my column one data uh, IT services, and I want to format it by field value. So my field value are basically my base pay, short-term incentive and long-term incentive. So I will do that. So if my value is base pay, I want it to be navy blue. If my value is short-term incentive, STI, I want it to be sky blue. And if it's 
LTI, I want it to be light. And after that, you can see we have successfully formatted our first column. So now you do the same thing for your second column. So unfortunately, this is a manual step. Now you have all your colors lined up. Now, what if you don't like that those two columns are actually stick together, you actually want to give them some space. What I can suggest is that you change the width of order. To do that, click on the chart, go to format, and then you can see under visual, there's column one and column two. So select column one first and go to bar border width. Currently, there's no border. I want to make it to be two. Like, of course, you can go even further if you want. I'm just showing you an example. By default, it's the black. I want to change it to white. So it gives me kind of like a space feel. After finishing column one, I will do the same thing too. So now you have your bars in Power BI as a double stacked column charts. If you want to change the size of your label, it's also very easy. Again, click on the charts and then go to formatting and go to the column. Let's start from column one. So in column one, there's label placement. You can choose the place of your label. You can also choose how many digits you want to show. That's how it looks like. You can also change the angle. You can also change the size. So right now, by default, it's constraining label size. But let's say I want to change it, so I will change it to off and I will start change my level size to something that like 15 and then I will need to do the same thing my too and now you have changed the size of tax so that is everything I want to share with you today in the next video I will show you also how to show the grand total for each of the columns on the top uh, in both Excel and Power BI so that's everything I want to share with you today and thank you for watching